it, things just got even better. Because now we're drawing less cards. And I can put down a scrotum weaver. Oh, this is... This is great. Holy sh... Okay. <sighs> They're going down to one land. Oh my... We, this is fan... We are helping the opponent stack all of their cards. They're going to have two piles. It's perfect. Hello, my fair citizens. I'm the mayor of Sodium City, Strider Stone, and today we have another awesome land destruction deck. This time we're using a lot of the newer enchantment cards, and holy hell, did I fall in love with them. The land destruction cards of choice in this deck are going to be Haphazard Bombardment and Waking the Trolls. Now, these are great land destruction cards, but they can be pretty underwhelming if you can't live that long. So we needed a lot of help from enchantment creatures and removal, but... Let's start with Haphazard Bombardment since it's pivotal in the deck. Haphazard Bombardment is a six mana enchantment that whenever it enters the battlefield, you get to put an aim counter on any four non-enchantment permanents. Then at the end of your turn, as long as there are two or more aim counters on permanents you don't control, you get to destroy one of them at random. So the fact that it's random and you see lights kind of light up between the permanents that are marked, and then one blows up. It's a really, really fun card. I wish there was a cool animation when it was deciding between them, but it's still really funny. Waking the Trolls is another six mana enchantment, but this time it's a saga. The first chapter destroys target land, which obviously is awesome. We like to target something. As much randomization as there is in this game, and I love randomization, sometimes you actually need to target stuff. That's what this is for. The next chapter, you get to put a land from any graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. This is awesome because sometimes you need to get something like a Bajugabog or if they have a scry land you want to steal or anything. There's a lot of lands that are very utility based. If you want a, I don't know, there's a bunch of lands that are utility based. It can be very, very good. The very last chapter, you get to create 4-4 four, four trolls with trample based on how many more lands you have than your opponent. So if we have four lands and they have two, we create two four four trolls with trample. But obviously you're gonna have more than four and they're probably gonna have more than two. You get the you get the point. The new enchantments that we are using are actually creatures. The main one being Weaver of Harmony though. This is a two mana two two that has a Lord ability. So every enchantment creature gets plus one plus one is whatever. But the ability that it has is one green and a tap we get to copy target activated or triggered ability that we control from an enchantment source. And then we can choose new targets for the copy, obviously. But this means that we can choose to distribute an additional four aim counters when bombardment comes into play, or at the end of our turn, we can choose for that trigger, the randomization trigger to blow up a permanent. We can double that to blow up two things instead. So usually what we'll do is early on in the game, we'll double the explosion trigger, and then later on in the game when they have more permanents, we'll choose to distribute eight counters instead of four. And again, mainly because if you have two haphazard bombardments out, if you have eight or 10 aim counters out, you can still plow through their permanents very quickly. This obviously works with waking the trolls as well. If you want to destroy more than one land, if you want to bring back more than one land and or create a ton more trolls with trample, overall, it's a very good card to have. The other card that we decided to use is Shigeki Jukai Visionary. Now, this might be one of my new favorite cards of the set. I was very taken back by how well this performed, but this is a two mana one three that has two mana tap, return it to its owner's hand, reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a land card from among those onto the battlefield tapped and put the rest into your graveyard. This is amazing because it's like ramp that you can repeat over and over and over again, and they're forced to deal with it that way or you know, you just keep getting ramped. This also works really well as a blocker. So if they have a 5-5 five five or a 6-6 six six or something that doesn't have trample, you can just block it, pay two mana, bring it back to your hand, and then put a land into play. So 
It's, it's like really, really good in so many situations. The thing that I like most about this card is the channel effect. It has double X, double green, discard it, return X target non-legendary cards from your graveyard to your hand. Now you can also do this at instant speed. So you can use it at the end of their turn, which is amazing. And when you're milling yourself with this card while ramping, it's really good to target what cards you actually want to get back. It's not like Gaia's Blessing where you have to shuffle it back in your library. It's not like Ball of Ged where you can only get one card. This one, late game or after you have a Mirari's Wake Out, you're able to get like four or five cards from the graveyard into your hand. This can be insane. The rest of the deck is pretty much just a standard enchantment package, but the deck overall is the truth. I had a blast with it and it performed very well. So make sure to check the stats at the end of the video for more details. However, this is not a cheap deck. If you wanna build it at home, it's gonna run you 57 rares and one mythic. So I think the only non rares are the three basic lands <laughs> that are in the deck and that's it. <laughs> so the, yeah, it's sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. If you would like the deck list, you can click on that card that pops out at the top right hand corner of this video and it'll take you on over to my Aether Hub page. If you like the text based version, you can get that in the description below as well as another link to the Aether Hub page. Stay salty and enjoy the games. Yikes. All right, we can come back. It'll be fine. Okay. We have the thing. We're gonna have the thing. We're gonna do the thing and everything will be fine. Cool. All right. Awesome. I didn't realize it was a snack. Chitter spitter? I like it. If I miss a land, I swear to God. <laughs> I was like, if I miss a land, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Teleportation circle with the Orient. Yeah, teleportation circle doesn't hit enchantments. That's what I'm saying. There's no way they have removal for this, right? There's no way. There's no way they have removal for this. Okay. This is fine. We get, we just need to keep up two lands. All right. Okay. We like it. Daddy likes. Do it. Oh yeah. Can't lose to squirrels. I mean, we can, I just don't really want to. <laughs> I would prefer not to. What? Why do you have gateway plus? What is happening? <laughs> what is this? Rise, you got debated. You got, you got debated. You got debated.
Thinking. All right, we got that one. All right, we got that one. Unfortunate. We can't. We <laughs> we can't get the spitter quitter. No. Okay, it's fine. Alright, it's not fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, let's do four. Oh, no, wait. Can only do three, right? No, oh, no, we could have done. <gasps> All right, sweet. I didn't even realize I forgot that that could tap for anything. Forgot that that could tap for anything. What up, Sidey? Just played this horrendous historic brawl deck. The first sliver cascade into Tybalt's trickery. Cast. Cultivator Colossus? Is that actually a thing? Um, actually, yeah, because I can't copy the bombardment. Wait, hold on. Let me copy the syphilis trigger. All right. That is pretty cool that it's not lit. Okay, great cards. Great cards. Great card. Rip Grandma! Rip Grandma! Rip Grandma! Rip Grandma! Rip Grandma! Um. Uh, let's go ahead and discard this temple guard. All right. This is fine. We did the thing. I never killed the spitter quitter. What up, little bow peaches? How you doing? Wait, opponent. But then I was going to copy all of the waking the troll triggers. <laughs> I was going to make so many trolls, though. Boy, welcome to Sodium City. Thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate it. You would have stuck around for the meme. Not 69, lame. You can't really double things and get to 69. I don't know if you know how math works, <laughs> but it doesn't work that way. <laughs> haste? No, we don't really need haste when they have zero lands. <laughs> you can't. You can't really kill that many <laughs> that many seven sevens yeah it's not gonna work that way okay we got a scrotum weaver 
We take those. As long as they don't kill it. Better not kill my scrotum lever, motherfuckers. Fucking Steve, dude! Fucking Steve! God! Unholy fucker of mothers, really! Not doing too well against the <laughs> discard decks. LJ giving a sub to Herbie. Just point so Hell shakers. Yeah. Thank you, Nettle. We'll do a ribbon cutting ceremony after this. Rude. My Weaver. That means they have another one, right? Fucking Steve. Look at this one has fucking God. Steve and Karen on it. Unholy fucker of mothers, really? And then they have removal from my scrotum weaver. And so it's just one for one, but they're big shit. It's better than our big shit. I think you'll be needing that. This has been a waste of my time. No, oh, fuck you, bitch. Slap! <laughs> Motherfucker. Alright, well, that sucks. This is very unfortunate. Yep, that sucks. We don't have any of our red sources either. Bruh. There's no way they have a thought, Steve, right? Dread, who the fuck played? What is this? What are these cards? What are these cards? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> All right. Do not thought Steve me, please. Problem is my waking the trolls is fucking useless right now. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm saying. They could have a double discard. They could have a double discard. And exile my graveyard. Ha-ha! All right, we did it. We did it. Should have waited for them to pump it up. Yeah, we should have. Getting land drops is not that bad right now. Because we want our trolls. Do you think they're running extinction event or ritual set? Stop hitting your land drops. Ooh, they can exile that. Give me one less land. That would suck. I would have to have Yorian in main deck. Um, playing haphazard bombardment with Yorian is 99% of the time a bad idea. It's just like if you're running haphazard bombardment, you have to run four of them. You can't run three or else it's a waste of a card slot. Oh no, what's going on? What is happening? So they were going to go down to five mana. 
and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The old rope do All right. The old rope dope. All right, we're gonna equip the rope wig here. Hello, everyone. My name is Strider Stone. I'm the mayor of Sodium City. I am currently getting roped by a mono black deck. AMA. AMA. <laughs> Mwah. Favorite new card so far? I have no idea. I have no idea yet. I like a few of them. I also don't remember the names. <laughs> so, so it's hard to say. What's going on, Milk Crate? How you doing? Sexiest planeswalker. I don't know. Are you a planeswalker? Wink. Nice beard. Thank you. I grew it myself. It's all natural. Pono, what's going on? How you doing? All right. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know. The sexiest planeswalker is definitely Ashiok, you know, because it's not a thing. It's just a nightmare. And you know how you fell in love with your ex for a reason, and it's probably the most attractive person. But now, since it's a big ex, it's probably your worst nightmare. So Ashiok is basically whoever your ex is <laughs> five head I'm trying to think I do like some of the lands the new the new legendary lands are pretty sweet is this ex non legendary cards it's non legendary cards doesn't even have to be a permanent Do we force syphilis here? All right. Oh. It's not good. All right. Really want to give to sub, but I said no to last night. You're getting mixed feelings. I didn't say no. I said I don't need it. You can gift subs to whoever you want. I'm never going to tell you what to do. <laughs> but never. Tumbleton just threw a salt shake Getting the gifted sub from Tumbleton. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. I probably should have kept up mana for Fateful Absence. I kind of wanted to draw cards to get a board wipe. No. Wow. 
Well, that was terrifying. I've set you free. Why do you have another one? All right, whatever. We have to doom scar. Are you gonna double block? Oh. I mean, that sucked. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Why? All right, well. Try to find a board wipe. It's not a board wipe. Oh no. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> nice. All right, we got one. Easy clap. Easy clap. Now draw cards from the clues. I'm not jacking off a ghost, all right? This is me being like, yes. Right. Yes. Oh my God. Opponent's gonna be the biggest of sad. <laughs> oh my god, another one? And another one. Do I have another... Do I have a land drop? Oh, I thought I had a land drop. That would have been sick. Opponent is not going to be happy. <laughs> yeah. I had another wake. <laughs> yeah. All right. Easy. Easiest game. Never didn't have it. I need to wipe my, my teleprompter. I had to make you all so much more beautiful. Relentless positivity of, for the whole game. Okay. So, with this hand, we do go second. All right? So this is going to be... Yeah, this is going to be perfectly fine. So we have to snap keep this because we have two things of syphilis. And syphilis is like the easiest of things, right? But this can get us our land. So we do want to mess with it. I think I think we fuck with this deck or this hand. I think we fuck with this hand. We give it ghost hand jobs. Yeah, syphilis. 
That's what I said. Easy clap. All right. So I don't think they have removal, which means we want to go for the ramp. 100%. Coco deck? Yeah. Which is nice to have settle. But um, they're going to have a bajillion creatures to attack with, so it's not great. Um, they can win next turn. Which is fine. You know, if the opponent has the win on turn four, that's perfectly fine. Um, they did bottom bottom, which means... They probably don't quite have the win. Um, all right, that is not that is not the um, the ramp card. I thought this was the the one that ramps, but that's fine. That's fine. If we didn't need it to ramp. We didn't we didn't need a trap. Every it's everything is fine. Nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. No, it's it's okay. No, no, I wasn't thinking of Scrotum Weir. I was thinking of the other new one, the Oh, that is the Sokugeki no Soma. Shokugeki no Soma, whatever it is. I should have kept up mana. This is, I mean, this is fine still, right? The, there's no way they have it. But if they have it, good on them. They didn't have it on turn four, which means we got extremely lucky. Right? That's how that works. Okay, well, uh, do we keep up settle? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what? No, let's let's just draw a couple cards. Gain a little bit of life. You know, it is. It might be infinite damage, but you know. Might be infinite damage. We will have red next turn, technically, because world trees. A world! Oh! Opponent doesn't have sleep, but it's fine. We can still give them respect because we are now officially positive. Okay. Everything is fine. See, now we're in a position to where even if they have it, we can settle, right? Ranger. Okay. This is perfectly fine. Do you know why? It's because settle the wreckage doesn't require it to be played on our turn. Just fine. They should be getting... Wait, does this only get... Oh, mana value one. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I see, I see. I see. That is a very uh, powerful uh, thing. Hmm. We can still block with our syphilis, right? We have a backup. I prefer not to go down to 15. I don't think it matters, actually. Maybe they don't activate it? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. They are going to activate it. Sweet. Okay. 
That's good, because that means that they don't know we have settle. Jebated. Jebated. You got jebated. You got, you got jebated. You Everything is fine. I demand you debate music. And we'll draw a couple more cards. All right, red source. All right, another syphilis. <sighs> Top. Uh -huh. It's a discard two. So I discard this weaver and this syphilis, I think. I do want lands. I think I still want lands. This is this I think this is great. Opponent is making this a very good game. Oh, okay. I see now I kind of want to hold up the settle the wreckage for when they activate Heliod. Right? Because that kind of makes more sense. Blast Zone only kills the Soul Warden. Um, so I'll probably have to get that to two. Hmm. Okay. Well, what we do here, copy target activated or triggered ability. Okay. Do I redistribute the count? Okay. Just kidding. I don't need to do that. <laughs> the best top deck of our lives. I was going to copy the redistribution of tokens, but... Didn't need to do that. Yeah, it turns out we didn't need to do that. This is great. We're... I mean, we're not going to call it a comeback, right? You can't do that. That's a bit premature. Nobody likes premature, right? Right? Right, chat? <laughs> This is, yeah, okay, so opponent, we gave opponent a card draw so that we could give them more advantage. Um, they're going to be able to draw a card here and then keep up the um, the infinite combo, whatever it is, squirrel. <gasps> Stupid. With two O's. Stupid. I don't know if drawing three cards is the best idea. Although I don't have anything else to do, which is fine. We don't need anything else. Um, yeah, and then, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy the actual trigger yeah, I probably should have killed the Soul Warden because that also gives Heliod loyalty. But you know what? We are okay. I think I, I mean, I'll just keep my Blast Zone at one and I'll blow up the Soul Warden that way, right? And then they, see, we get to let them draw a card again. We're super nice. We're nice people. We are nice people. This is great. I love giving opponents things. Look at it. We're so nice.
definitely don't need another one. I mean, that's hilarious. Three? All right. We don't need another one of those. That's okay. I mean, it's fun. But we can get them all back with uh, Shokugeki. This is non-legendary cards. Okay, so we can actually get removal back from this, right? And so we can get instants and sorceries. So we can get back our two fateful absence. This is great. I love this card. This card is much better than I initially gave it credit for. And I apologize for that. Sometimes I don't give things enough credit. It's something I should be working on. Okay. We don't mind this. Okay, we still got 30. I mean, this is... We're, so what we do here is now we copy the redistribution of the counters, because then three things are gonna get blown up every, every time. Oh, this is amazing. We are doing it. Mm-hmm. Oh, opponent. I hope you're just as excited as I am. Because I am so fucking excited. That has an aim counter on it already. That's fine. Why not, you know? What's wrong with another one? There's nothing wrong with another one, right? Oh. This is... Okay. Things just got... Things just got even better. Because now we're drawing less cards. And I can put down a Scrotum Weaver. Oh, this is... This is great. Holy shit. Okay. <sighs> They're going down to one land. Oh my. This is fan. We are helping the opponent stack all of their cards. They're going to have two piles. It's perfect. It's perfect, yeah. Wait, you didn't you didn't want to hang out? No god. No. Honestly, I really want to go Golgari now and play with Shokugeki no Soma. I really do. I think it's super busted. And if we just pair it with four casualties of war and we keep bringing it back, <laughs> Tilting off the best of one ladder. What were you doing in the best of one? Are you playing mono blue? Are you a tempo player? No, why the shrines? Shrines everywhere. Snake druid. See the opponent. Oh! Okay. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna get shrined. We are going to get shrined. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to dig for that Helion. We have one Helion. <laughs> I was like, let me put one in here. There's, we'll be fine. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, well, we're gonna have to change that. Mm -hmm. Imagine not playing four Heliods in an enchantment meta. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, you're right. We should be playing our revelation, technically. Don't be ridiculous. We should be playing our revelation with Tefri's protection so that with six mana, we can blow up the world. Sa world! Oh! <laughs> but then protect all of our stuff at the same time. The low, low price of six mana. Easy clap. Raiden? Who plays Raiden? All right, so I can copy this trigger. Yes, yes, yes. All right, sweet. There goes my Helion. Wait, did it? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> wait, was that both? That was both my Shokugekis! <laughs> no! Oh, wait, it's in my hand, though. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. It's in my hand. It's in my hand. Everything is fine. No cancel. Resolve. Okay. Then... No attacks. End turn. Copy this trigger. I guess I could have attacked. Alright. Going up two things. Get that mirror box. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Let's go. How would I not? I, I didn't have room for Sterling Grove, all right? The things that were taking up the Sterling Grove was Weaver of Harmony and Soma. Not us, the shrine dude? Oh, I don't know. I should also have that. Opponent's also not running green. If they play Raiden down as, like, I have to pay two more, that sucks. Okay, what is this? Whenever you or another permanent you control becomes the target of a spell. Okay, so that includes lands. But I can copy that trigger. Are they holding up a counter spell? They have a Doom Scar. Doom Scar? Got it. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So we can pay one, two, three, four. A1, and then I can copy this, and we can still pay for the other one. Easy clap. <laughs> Easiest game of my life. Never had an easier game. <laughs> All right. I could get back Weaver, Weaver, Heliod, Doomscar. 
I get Heliod for sure. <sighs> Are you sure about that? Weaver is really cool, yeah. If you use it properly, it's pretty good. Opponent, would you like to draw some cards, Keck W? <laughs> Need to kill those shrines? I am! I'm killing it next turn! Pay three per target with Heliod? Don't I have to pay one per target? Oh, yeah. It's four. Oh, no, because Valkmira, yeah, yeah, I don't have to pay the extra for that. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's only one per target, though, not three per target. Is it three per target? Is it going to do that? That's not right. Um... I need one. Isn't it two per target on Heliod or one? One, two, three, then one, two, three, four. Wait, Heliod. Okay, yeah, I did have enough. I was calculating it. I was calculating it. X equals one? X equals way more than one. I have four mana from my scrotum weaver. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I had nine mana. I would have to pay for three, so it's six, and then minus two. I would have been able to blow up four. I would have been able to blow up all of them. At the end of the day, this deck went six and three. Once again, another one of my decks that just wins way more on the draw than on the play. I guess getting that extra card helps a lot. I don't know why. The decks that we lost to was a Demir Unblockable, which was something I've never actually seen before. Uh, so they were using a turtle. They were using Tetsuko, uh, which is basically what makes them all unblockable. Just very annoying. <laughs> they were able to draw a bunch of cards with this if they make everything unblockable. Mana Drain, obviously annoying. They were able to get rid of our last settle with this Mana Drain. That was so annoying. They pulled the third one for the kill. That sucked. That actually sucked so bad. We probably would have won had they not had that third Mana Drain. But unfortunately, they did. Uh, we also lost to a mono blue mill deck. Now this <laughs> mono blue mill is just really frustrating and annoying to lose to. Uh, they had a lot of really cheap things to draw cards with. And of course, having the two psychic corrosions and a Tefri's tutelage didn't help out either. Uh, so it was at this point we realized that we need Heliod's intervention. So we added that and the deck did feel a bit better, but we didn't add it until after we went up against this mono green mid-range deck because once we saw the great henge we're like yeah let's probably add the heliod so we did end up adding it after that we almost won this matchup though obviously having the mammoth and love struck beast it's a blast from the past really annoying the two trail of crumbs gave them so much value and then they also had the great henge so it, it was just once they got everything that they needed being the two trail crumbs and the great henge, there was just nothing we could do. So once again, it was the mono blue mill and then the mono green that we were just like, okay, we have to have it at Heliod's. We have to have it. So we added it and it should be fine now.
Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Come out with videos seven days a week.